Praise be to God. Today is Easter Sunday. And we want to thank God that even through the times of passions of Jesus Christ, we have come now to a new dawn. They are Christ is risen. Christ is risen. He is risen. Shall we pray our Lord's Prayer together? Our Father in heaven, holy will be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive you. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the prayer are yours now and forever. Amen. To God be the glory. So Peter and the other disciples started 
for the tomb. Both were learning, but the other disciple outlined Peter and lit the tooth first. He bent over and looked in all at the streets of Rinen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been lapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now, Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the hand and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize it was Jesus. He said to her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you've put him, and I'll get him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned round towards him and cried in Alamai, Laboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold unto me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father and to my God, and you are God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he has said these things to her. This is the word of God. Praise be to God. Amen. I want us to have a number, a hymn, then you can hear the word of God. Redemption, the purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the bias of Enda, who truly believes the moment from Jesus our pardon receives. Praise the Lord.
we are saddened that such a great day we are at home just watching but catch up with us and feel like you have done what you ought to do during an Easter day like this one. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you shine upon us this day as we commemorate this great day when you rose from the dead and you had defeated death in the name of our Lord. Now that, Lord, this day is, we want to proclaim that we are victors amid all the challenges that we are going through. May you speak to us to get us encouraged, reminding us that that dark hour was and you defeated it. Even now, as we are in dark hours through this particular moment about the coronavirus, that God will see us through. Jesus' name we pray. Christian, the story of Jesus has a climax with his resurrection. So I want to talk about this, the power of resurrection, as a thing today. If I talk about the power of resurrection, and you know what it means to die. How many people have died? You see them dead. We never come back to life. Yes, we have heard of stories here and there talking about life, but the actual physical rising up, I think we solemnly, solemnly, solemnly hear such an issue. But this particular story of Jesus is the climax of our salvation. Why is it the climax of our salvation? It is because Jesus, defeating death, meant that we are also who defeat death. As Psalms reminds us that the Son of Man will spike the serpent on its head. Chapter 20 of John, the John, the, the gospel we have read, led, reminds us the events in that holy morning and what happened. That early in the morning, it was the beginning of the week, and still dark, when, G uh, when Mary Magidari went to the tomb and saw that the, tomb, the stone in the tomb had been removed. When she saw this, she knew something has happened. Because when they rolled the stone, they knew how difficult it was to roll the stone and roll it out. It meant something has happened within the tomb of Jesus. But we see the courageousness of this woman, Mary Magidari, giving out her best. You can remember this particular woman, is the same, same one who was accused of being a prostitute. It is the same, same woman who went to Jesus and anointed Jesus. And you remember what happened with Judas that particular day. She or he proclaimed and said, couldn't this all have been used for the benefit of the poor? But you see, the answer of Jesus was different and said, yes, he cares for the poor, but he said, it is important to note that this woman has done his, her best. Why? She has prepared me on what I'm going to go through. That is death. Do you think Judas, when he was asking about this, was all very, very honest? It could be true, he was honest, because he was a treasure. But at the same time, we can see him on the other side not being very honest. Like somebody who actually felt, you love to buy a makiburi. A buy a hangependa, yes, you have a new and a tenemo mazuri. Nahi, Josababu, a kanza kuraumu kwa nini, huyu mwanamke. A kaharibu yale manukatu. 
ni nyakati ngapi ambazo sisi tuwasengenya wengine si kwa sababu tunawaongeresha ama tunaongea yale ambayo nastahili kwa upendo lakini tunawafanya yale sababu hatuone yale uh, kizuri chenye kidatendwa na hao the commitment of Mary Magdalene ile ambayo ni kujitolewa kwa Mary Magdalene kuna stahili peko ni mara ngapi wewe mkristo umechukua jukumu ya kuwa committed katika maisha yako ya ukristo it is a challenge from what Mary Magdalene did one of the disciples Jesus had encountered the last moment Simon Peter come in because they still trusted him even though this same Peter is the one who, be, who actually denied Jesus the last moment but I can say this and I repeat again apart from the fact that Simon Peter denied Jesus hata kama Simon Peter alikosa kufanya na kutenda yale alistahili wakati ule kujitolea na kusema ukweli alikumbuka makosa na dhambi yake yake alipomgairi Yesu Kristo kwa nini sisi wa Kristo tunakosa kukumbuka nyakati ambazo tumemgairi Kristo na wewe katika mahali upo katika nyumba yako ukabadilika ukakumbuka yale ambayo ulifanya na ulitenda kama Mkristo siku ya kwanza uliingia kanisani kwa batizo na ukazijisikia mtu mzuri sana maana umekuwa Mkristo lakini ukumbuke uliyasema haya wewe mwenyewe nimemkubali Yesu Kristo ndio upate ule ubatizo na katika ule ubatizo ukakili ya kwamba utamfuata Kristo liwe liwani na sasa sisi wa Kristo tumejipata kama nyakati zingine pasipo pazuri sana yale ambayo tulisema tunakosa kuyatimiza kama tulivyosema hiyo sio hoja sana ambayo nilikuwa nayo siku ya leo bali nilikuwa kwa kumbusha siku ya leo ni thamani sana ni thamana sana kwa Kristo maana huu ndio mwanzo wa sisi kupata kukombolewa bwana Yesu asifiwe sisi tushakombolewa maana Yesu alikubali kupatiana maisha yake akafa kwa sababu yako na yangu lakini hata katika ile kifo alishinda kifo ili wewe na mimi tupate uokovu na sisi tutolewe kwa kifo bali tupate uzima wa milele bwana Yesu asifiwe semeni amen mahali huko katika yale na kuona kuwa kabuli kiliko wazi Petero na yale wale yule ambaye ni disciple ambaye Yesu alipenda walikuja wakapita na kaingia ndio wakapata yale mavazi Yesu hayuko pale ashafufuka tiani Yesu amefufuka kumepambauka hasa wakati huu kwa maisha yetu maana Yesu amekufa kwa sababu ya dhambi zako na zangu hata wakati huu ambapo unafikiria juu ya corona Yesu asema ameyashinda kifo na yale yote ambayo ni madhara na ni katika Kristo in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit ane vile vile tunapotoka pale tutaelekea na kuzidi kupata wimbo ndio tujitayarishe kwa ile ambayo sisi kama wakristo ni tamaduni yetu ya ushirika utakatifu lakini nataka ufuatilie sio kwa sababu utakuwa pale lakini ni katika ule ile roho uweze kuyapata yale ambayo yaja katika damu 
que es su
May he now forgive you and free you from all your sins. May he renew and strengthen you for what is good. And may he bring to you the everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hear what our Savior Christ says to strengthen all who return to him. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying your heavy loads, and I will give you rest. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. Hear also what him. Paul says, this is a true saying to be completely accepted and believed. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also what St. John says, if anyone does sin, we have Jesus Christ the righteous, who prays for us with the Father, for Christ himself is the means by which our sins are forgiven. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is not only right, it is our duty to thank and praise you at all times in all praises. Holy Father, Lord Almighty, eternal God, therefore, together with archangels and angels and archangels, and with all the saints in heaven, we praise your glorious name forever and ever say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord of my might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, God most high. Amen. One day, and but we must praise you, most especially for the seven days of the glorious resurrection of your son Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is the love, true Passover, who has offered for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rising to life, he has restored to us eternal life. Together, let us humble ourselves before the table of our Lord. We do not come to a table merciful Lord, trusting in our own goodness, but in your great mercy. You are not good enough even to recover the form from your table. But you never change your nature as always to have mercy. We therefore humbly ask you, gracious Lord, that we may in the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed by his precious blood, and that we may dwell in him, and he in us forever. Amen. Almighty God, and Heavenly Father, in your loving mercy you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to die upon the cross for our salvation. There by his one self offering, he made a perfect sacrifice for the sins of the world. And in his gospel, he commanded that we should continue the memory of his death. Until he comes again, grant us, merciful Father, that we may follow Christ's example in receiving this bread and wine and remembering his suffering and death. So may we receive his body and blood. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant that is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Preserve my body and so to eternal life. Take this, remember that Christ's body was given for you. 
and receive him with thanksgiving. Body of Christ given for you. Preserve your body and soul to eternal life. Take and drink this with the blood of the new covenant which is shed for you on behalf. thank you for these holy things because by them you have fed us with the body and blood of your son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and have also assured us of your loving goodness towards us. By this holy bread and wine we know that we are true members of the body of your son which is the world world church of your faithful people and also that we are heirs of your everlasting kingdom through the suffering and the death of our dear Son. Heavenly Father, <coughs> pray us the good works, all the good works which you have put before us through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you, the Holy Spirit, is glorified forever. Amen. Now, as before I give the benediction and the blessings, I would urge you Christians to continue praying. It is very extraordinary for you to be at home in such a moment when you should be rejoicing because of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you the truth is this. Our God is on the throne. He, de he defeated death he will defeat COVID-19 and will be free because he has promised that we who believe in him will be free and free indeed. May you continue to pray and still observe all the things that you have been asked to, the social distance, cleaning of your hands, Use masks. I have mine here. Use your mask. Especially wherever you are going to a place with many people, especially who are working and you cannot avoid going. When you are going for shopping in the supermarket, Still maintain your social distance. And let us pray that a solution to COVID-19 comes sooner than later. It is my trust that that will be 
Now I pray that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, may keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost be among you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. A decision here. Take a man, of course. Take